This fall, Rhode Island will not only be electing a new governor, but also a new second in command. And today we brought together the three Democratic candidates for lieutenant governor who aggressively went after each other during a special newsmakers debate. Target 12 investigator Tim White moderated that debate. He joins us now with the details on campaign 2014. Tim. One of the candidates came out swinging in this debate, attacking both his opponents and using 38 studios as his weapon of choice. The question to Ralph is why wouldn't he? Have Democratic candidate for Lieutenant Governor Dan McKee spent much of the debate attacking his opponent Ralph Mollis for his lobbying investigation into 38 Studios. McKee says it should be an independent probe. Ralph Mollis turned a blind eye when he could have did something to help the state uh, uncover the issue. It makes sense to me not to have elected officials that had had any fingerprints on 38 Studios. Uh, it's coming from someone who whose campaign is significantly financed by the very law firm that is at the center of the 38 Studios controversy, the law firm that advised EDC. A reference to law firm Moses Afonso, which just reached a settlement agreement in the state's lawsuit against the architects of the 38 Studios deal. You know, it's, it's difficult to get that criticism knowing that his campaign is financed by the individuals at the center of this controversy. But he can say he wasn't aware of it, but he was aware of it. McKee also slammed Frank Ferry for voting for the loan guarantee program that ultimately funded Kurt Schilling's video game company as a state representative. There was a job creation program that was presented to us, and we voted on that. Now, if somebody knew that $75 million was going to go to one company, then shame on them. We need to know that. Like McKee, Ferry also thinks there should be an independent investigation. The primary is on September 9th. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.